the backdrop of Sri Lanka recovering from the worst economic crisis with a minus 11.5% GDP performance in quarter one, Rotary continues to engage the country by investing over 2 billion rupees on health, water purification, sanitation and now environment areas. Rotary has been at the forefront of polio eradication efforts and its total financial contribution towards this effort has exceeded $2.7 billion globally. Sri Lanka became the first country in South Asia to become polio-free. But as long as one case remains anywhere in the world, the whole world and Sri Lanka are vulnerable. And for that reason alone, vaccination efforts must continue throughout the world until the job is finished, said District Governor for Sri Lanka and Maldives Engineer Pubudu de Soiza. So this is one of the milestones that we uh, focused on, arrival of these two gentlemen who actually uh, focusing on investment and also uh, visiting Sri Lanka opportunities for Rotary World, where we, 1.2 million Rotarians across 210 countries, we want to help Sri Lanka, they all want to help Sri Lanka to build this country, to build this economy, and to get the position that they deserve. And the next two runners up, they didn't run past them. They stopped and picked them up, and the three of them walked across the finish line. And that's what we're doing here. It is a fight of partnerships with Rotary and other important groups and everybody in this community and in the world to pick it up, to get it across the finish line, because no child ever deserves to suffer the conflicts of polio. And it is coming to an end. And we need to all gather together to get it across the finish line. One of the biggest statements we've heard recently, we were doing an interview again in Karachi. One of the reporters looked at Peter and said, with the way everything's going, do you still have hope that there is going to be an end to polio in the near future? Peter kind of stunned everybody in the room, the Rotarians and the reporters alike, because he looked at him and he said, no, I do not have hope that we are going to end polio. Sri Lanka has been polio free for nearly 30 years. But unfortunately, that is not true of the whole world, even though only two countries still have the wild polio virus. But the problem is, even if there is one case of polio anywhere in the world, then it's just a plane ride away from coming to Sri Lanka. So it's important for us to keep the attention of Sri Lankans and the world on polio eradication and we have to continue to protect our children till that last child is vaccinated and polio is eliminated. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.